Good morning or good evening, depending on where you are. This is an introduction to the module in Legal English. My name is Miguel Angel Campos. I do research in Legal English and Translation. I'm a sworn interpreter and I also cooperate in a number of training projects with judiciary bodies, such as the judicial training, the European Judicial Training Network. Now, what is this module about? The idea is to provide you with knowledge of the characteristics of Legal English, both in itself and compared into Spanish. The main purpose is that you can act as mediators both between English and Spanish and also between expert and non-experts users of the language. Now, this is a list of the competences we have included. They deal with acquiring the foundations of legal English, terminology, linguistic characteristics, macrostructure, how these texts and how this communication is organized, what is plain English and why it is important in order to communicate with non-experts, a basic knowledge of the characteristics of the bodies having to do with legal language and institutional contexts. Now, using documentation, being able to create groceries, being able to reformulate or translate specialized legal texts and so on. Now, the teaching itself there is some content presentation, but the content is given through PowerPoint presentations which are given to students before the sessions. We devote the sessions to practical exercises, practical seminars having to do with legal language, legal language exercises and presentations, both individual and group presentations, and case studies and projects whereby you put into practice what you learn, but you also acquire new skills having to do a lot especially with documentation, being able to find, about, find out about something when necessary. The syllabus combines basic units having to do with legal English in general and those we have considered more important in the professional contexts. So there is some introduction to legal English, then you go into contracts which are very important if you're going to work in a company, and then the areas which are related to legal language, which is human rights, real estate and environmental law. The assessment is done through participation in class, through group work, oral presentations. You also do some self-assessment or you assess your colleagues. But the most important thing is the final portfolio in which you submit your exercises and the research of all your, the result of all your research and case studies. Why have we included this because of the professional opportunities. Legal English in general is not included in university degrees, so it gives you a small competitive advantage in your curriculum in order to, when you submit your curriculum to any company, you are a candidate who knows a bit about legal English, whereas others may not. So you may work as mediators in inter institutional contexts, in NGOs, but also in companies in private areas. And also something else you can do is teach legal English because currently there is a great lack of teachers of legal English and it is an expanding market. We give you the skills in order to be able to acquire the necessary knowledge and find out which things will be necessary in order to teach a course in legal English. And that would be it. Thank you very much.